Okay. The Lion at Night. Cool, the Lion Knight. Wow, look at that. Formidable fighter. Wow. He's in Castly Rock. I did not realize how good of a fighter he was. If I'd known that, then again, I wouldn't want to make him my son's guardian because obviously, look at their stats. Not really that good. Master Arms. I want to make him the, uh, he's a formidable fighter. Skilled fighter. He's only one, but then again, I make him upset and I want to keep him happy. Okay, let's leave it for now then. It's only one worse. I think someone else is better now. Okay, we've got <laughs> that Lannister. He doesn't like me at all, though. God damn it. Sars feels like Master Coin. Keep it as it is, then. Okay, seems fine for now. Obviously, construction. So we're going to be construction quite a lot here. Now I've got all this money saved up. And nowhere to spend it. Okay. Kill Harry's of Black of, of Crack Hall, really? Isn't that your father? Yeah, why would you do such a thing? We don't need this sort of thing in our family. Okay. A famous herald, well versed in the diplomatic protocol, has arrived at our court. He's proposing his services to us. And our Chamberlain is saying that he'd make a good use of this man. I never mouth to feed. No, we don't need him. I'm fine for that. My wife is pregnant? 41 years old? <laughs> Seriously? 41 years old. Wow. She is a... Uh... Okay. Thought that was going to be our only child, but it looks as though we got another one. Very, uh... Very did not see that coming. While hunting in the forest, your child Lumrain came across some poachers who kidnapped him. The vile scoundrels are now threatening his life. Ask a large sum of money to free him. No, my son. He looks like he could be a really good one in the future. Don't kill him. Um, here's one hundred gold. I shall hunt them down. Okay. Eight percent chance he'll die. My master arms will go, 8% chance he'll die. 5% chance he dies. I... Ooh, I kind of want to pay. I'm a craven, so I wouldn't go myself. Let's pay. Yes, he's fine. Oh, thank God. Ah, Lord Lum is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. What should I do with my wayward son? How about a pat on the head? Is a strap for him? I don't think we want him to be arbitrary, really, do we? No, I'm not really... No, no, I, I am ambitious, actually. And deceitful, actually, so yeah. It's not a big deal for me. What does he get from that? Minus stewardship. And learning. No, we don't... I'm wise, aren't I? So, I'll be like, no. Rejoice, your son is back. Oh, safe and sound. Thank, thank the gods. Thank the gods and Dee Why is the Stormlands fighting the Reach now? This is chaos. Everyone's just fighting each other. Over Night Song. Oh my god. And I had a daughter. This is getting ridiculous. Hopefully these wars are over soon so we can actually then look to form an independence faction. We were so close, we had it. I had the independence faction, it was all sorted, just waiting for the Reach to make their mind up. And then, just chaos. And now we're stuck in all these bloody wars. Uh, God damn them. Not gonna get them free to ever like me, really. It's not too big a concern of mine. They're too weak at the moment anyway. Yeah, my son Lum is not exerting himself in his studies. I'm starting to despair. Okay, beat him into action. Talk to him about being diligent. We'll do that. It seems to work so hard when he needs something done. He has gained the diligent trait. Good, good, good. How is he so far? He's turning out okay. He's turning out okay. For 11 year old. 
You gotta give him credit. He's almost as good as me. Though my master arms doesn't seem to be helping him at all. As a new Lord Commander of the Night of the Night's Watch, uh, Mutin, he's been there for a long time. Let's have a look who's taken over. Okay, Commander Medwick Redwayne. Ah, Red Redwayne. That's nice. He's a bit old though, but he's good diplomacy. Uh, Emery Cardwainer, a Reachman, next in line. Your vassal, Lord Cheswick of Sarsfield, how many asked for your help against the aggression of a vassal? I'll order them to stand down. He's been good to us. Thank you. We can just defeat the. Either the Vale wins or loses, I really don't care. Ah. What? He's not cooperating. Are you kidding me? Bloody fool, Lannister. I put you in that position just because I knew you could actually make something useful. You bloody... Uh. Master Whispers is dead. Old Flowers? Interesting name. Reachman. Okay. Could go on to a Ferran. Uh, let's make a Jane it, shall we? Makes sense. Yep, so I'm definitely going to get the Golden Company. Please to kill the Lion Knight. What? What are you doing? How dare you try and want to kill the Lion Knight? He's our most formidable Rain Warrior. Maybe even has a chance to become a uh, member of the King's Guard. Damn it, he loses intrigue. Damn. I was waiting for something to pop up for the Maester, help my child, but that's not good. Can you uh, stop what you're doing? Damn it. I know you're married to a nobody now, but that's his own fault. That's his own fault. Okay. Now. Oh my god, we've still got the bloody Riverlands. <laughs> You kidding me? And Mina Rain. Who's Manfred? Who the hell is getting married? Manfred Ferrin. Manfred Ferrin. Oh, there he is. Didn't even see that for some reason. My niece. Okay. She's marrying a Ferrin. Okay. Hugh Ferrin will inherit, obviously. Okay. Uh, we'll travel to the feast for now, just because we have to wait for this war to bloody end anyway. Doesn't like we're doing much. Oh, there we go. Finally. Finally. I'm not going to talk about the wedding either, because it wasn't actually that long ago since the last wedding. Okay, so we can set up our faction now. And as soon as we have enough, once it's come back together... Oh my god, another war. How many people are you fighting? You're fi fighting two more people. Are you kidding me? You are just really annoying me. <sighs> We're never going to be able to bloody make this faction. So close yet so far. <sighs> Knew I should have done it when I had the chance. Should have done it. Should have done it. And now he's taken the Riverlands away. He's taken the Riverlands now away as well. Though that actually might help us because that would mean we will have the definite support of the vassals of the Riverlands probably. If they join I mean. Because obviously you're never sure they might not actually join. Um, even if their lord wants to. They might then go support the king. We got anything to build. The king is dead. How did you die? Suspicious accident. <laughs> Seems to be how all the kings are dying these days. Seems to be a lot of suspicious accidents. 
And now we have King Gaiman of the Iron Throne. He's a lunatic. So this is not looking good for the, uh, the Targaryens. He's very young, he's a lunatic. Hopefully this will mean that we can try and, what would be the word, utilize this, the hatred towards him, because people probably aren't gonna like him. He's probably gonna make a lot of mistakes. So I'm hoping we can use this against him. Okay. Hopefully as soon as we finish these bloody wars, let's increase the speed again, just so we can get through the wars. Oh my god, I'm hitting 50. We want to do it in his lifetime. I was so close to setting about my plans. And now this is the last one. Okay, my son is getting better. Wow. Okay, he's got better than me already. One more war. He's incapable as well. Wow. This guy is absolutely horrible. And then you got his brother, who's a fine young man, Prince Aegon. Okay, stats and all. A new Lord Commander, not surprisingly. Said it probably wouldn't last long because of his age. Just need to wait for this war to end. Just need to wait for this one war to end and we'll be fine. There's claim on the Riverlands. Ooh, the Tully. They want to put the Tully back on the Riverlands. Interesting. Obviously it was a loft stone before. Okay. Just need to finish this war. Maybe I should just help. No, I don't want to help because I don't want to waste my men. We're going to do it as soon as we can. Uh, your vassal, Sir Eddie's old flowers, Cornfield, help me ask for your help against the aggression. I've never a vassal. Uh, we'll order the vassal to stand down. Thank you. We don't want any trouble. Uh, no, we don't need a herald for now. We just need to wait for this war to end. We're so close, 24%. Come on, finish them off. Okay, Phil's ambition to become exalted among men. Okay. A former Pentoshi magistrate has offered to tutor my ward for a price of course. Okay, I'll gladly pay. 30% chance he gains to trait glue greedy or gluttonous. I'll, I'll let you teach him. Your new ambition. Oh, my son's now picture. See your house on the Iron Throne. I have five children, four in love. Um, I want to become independent, and so none of them really help that. Let's go go off for now. Unmarried heir. Okay, yep. I need to marry my heir. Probably a good chance at some point. Oh, he's getting quite good actually. His intrigue isn't so good. But there's not much I can do about that at the moment. Skilled commander. Not too bad. Could have been worse. Could have been worse, definitely. Okay, died in the dungeon. 19% at the moment. Come on. Come on. They haven't got another war, have they? Oh my god. Okay. Claim on the Riverlands. <laughs> Oh my god. This is impossible. The wars will never end. Maybe I could declare independence. I don't think I can, can I? Because I'm supporting him. No, I can't. Damn it. Cannot declare independence, can I? Really annoying. Force him to train. Um, but I'm not good enough really to force him, am I? Where is actually the drum with our sword? We have our family sword. Okay, there we go, there he is. Okay, so here's our family sword. So she'll inherit it. Now, if we could try and marry her, we could get our sword back. Might be a good try. Maybe we should try that. Melon has got our sword. It looks as though the... Uh, the drums got their comeuppance, and you know, they haven't got their sword anymore. They haven't even got their land anymore, old wick. So they, they got their comeuppance. We don't have to blame these guys. We just want to marry them so we can get our sword back into our family. What I might do is marry one of them to one of our... Uh, might try and marry one of them to one of the males. Maybe not of the initial line. So we have two different swords in two different parts of the families. 
So it might be one of the high lords um, of the families. But also, I'm going to stop right here because um, it's starting to lag a bit. And I don't want to keep continuing because I don't want the quality to go down. So I'm going to stop now, edit it a bit out, and put it up on YouTube for you guys to watch. Um, hopefully, it was okay. Again, we didn't get the progress in the things I wanted to do. We've had to wait for a load of bloody wars. But hopefully, when we continue, the wars will be over. And what I can then do is obviously declare independence. And this time, I won't wait. This time, as soon as I get a good chance, I'll do it. Learned my lesson there. Sometimes I'm just too cautious, particularly in this Let's Play where we've gone so far for so long, it feels like I just don't want it to collapse around us. Because if we lose the war, if we declare independence, we could lose the Westlands, which we fought so hard to get and planned so well. But yeah, we did have a good chance. That was my fault. Did not think a war was going to happen just then. And then the deaths, obviously, the kings and stuff. Let's have a look at the rest of our family. And we got here. Just need to wait for her to die. We'll have another... As you can see, look, you can see the lag there. And we've got a rain there. And the last one in the Dreadfort. Who they plan to expand their territory. And there we go. We've already got the rain in the Dreadfort. Don't know why I clicked that. There we go. And it's definitely lagging quite a lot. So there we go. We've now got a rain in the Dreadfort. So that is good. That's good for all. So I hope you guys have been enjoying so far. Hopefully we can continue our family's expansion. I've actually really enjoyed it so far, I have to say. And I hope the audio quality was better in this one. So I'll see you guys about. I have been Paradox, and I hope you will continue with us on the adventures of the Rain family and our Sword of Justice. Bye.